Hey guys, so we're back. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to hear the game audio now. Uh, sorry for the problems. Um, I'll give everybody just a moment to filter back in, um, hopefully. Um. The dog moved. Oh, and he's moving again. Oh. The pet cam might go away for a minute since the dog is gone. Um. Sorry for the technical difficulties, though, everybody. Do let me know in the future, though, if the, uh, if the audio goes away again like that. Uh, I think I know how to fix it this, uh, now. It's never really happened before, so. Okay, so for some reason this guy's not loving. I guess it's this unrolling thing, but I don't know for sure. Uh, welcome back, everybody. I just saw the viewer number popped up. So hopefully everybody's back in that wants to be back in. Uh, again, sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh-huh. And again, the pet cam's gone for the moment because the dog ran away. Um, so where were we? I think we pretty much just have this one bad guy left. Hello, welcome back, Shadow. Thanks for coming back. Um, so, can I do anything with this guy? I really can't. Okay. But Sibyl, I think, can. Nice. Fuck him up. Is the game audio working for you now, Shadow? Okay, good to hear that the audio is back up and running. Cool. Uh, so now we can loot a bunch of bodies. Ooh, shocking arrow. A crate. Crate and barrel! That was a, a terrible drug. Not even a store that I go to. <laughs> Oh, there's the spread your wings skill book. I already know it, but I can probably put it on another character. Um, so that more of my characters have wings. Picture. Talk to the spirit. The spirit of the dwarven battle mage gazes upon the mutilated body that once housed her. As you approach, she turns confused eyes on you. The game audio is just a little bit too loud. Okay, good. Thanks for letting me know. Is it any better now, or is it too quiet? Um, I'll do a couple of things, and you can let me know. Um, reach out a consoling hand. She stares uncomprehendingly at your outstretched hand, slowly raising a bewildered gaze to meet your eyes. She stares, and you feel yourself drawn into the mesmerizing source pools of her eyes. With a jolt, her life flashes before your eyes. You become her in her prime, battling a felled magister in a deserted clearing. Electricity crackles from your fingers as you advance upon the magister. Uh, focus your attention on the terrified young magister. The magister is part of something dark, something cruel, something that goes against the very fabric of your being. All bets are off. Merciless, you attack her with spell and blade. As her warm blood spurts to cover your face, you are sated. A satiety you would never speak of. A satiety that momentarily fills the emptiness within you. Wait, who are you? You can't. You can't remember. Do you think the game audio is good about equal to mine? Or do you think I should make it a little bit quieter? And if other people have thoughts on it too. Um... 
You are thrust out of the spirit's memories and back into your own sovereign mind. You see the spirit of the dwarven battle mage before you, eyes downcast now. <laughs> Poor lady. Uh, so this umbral statue seems to be what's causing all the problems. Let's check it out. The void is strong here. Even the stone is infected. The void is strong here. That's it. Even the stone is infected. I feel like it. Yeah, I know you're saying it's about equal to mine, but do you think that's okay? Should I make the game audio quieter, do you think? This body is fresh. Were they a sorcerer? Yeah. Um, Venom Wing. Wait, well then. Dwarf. Possessed War Maiden. Cool. Okay. I feel like I should destroy this statue, but I really don't know. It says it's already a moderator of the channel when I try to add it, but it's not showing up as a moderator. I know what you mean. So for some reason, it's not working quite right. Oh, there's another. The spirit soul. tugs and tugs at the source collar around his neck, though it budges not an inch. We couldn't. I couldn't. Is it really our fault? The void woke. Assure him that sorcerers are not the ones to blame for the Void Woken. He gives you a look full of hope, then remembers the collar around his neck and slumps forward, letting his hands hang heavy by his sides. Poor guy. Disembodied hand. Disembodied torso. And here's the Wrecker's Cave that we were heading for. So it looks like we're gonna have a bunch of fights on our hands. Looks like this is Lohar's place, or what's left of it. Could mortals have survived this? Mm. A dwarven spirit cowers on the ground, trapped in the fear of her final moments. Uh, calm down. No more harm can happen to you. With growing horror, she turns her focus on something unseen, looming high above her. I feel like one of the most interesting things about being a voice actor would be, like, voicing lines like this. Just, like, crazy lines, you know? The trembling of the dwarven spirit tells you the halberd in his hands may not be enough to withstand his unseen enemy. He glances behind him, searching for an escape. He drops the halberd and bolts behind some nearby rocks. Divine, save me! I don't want to die, please! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! The spirit screams and screams as something unseen tears Me into crouch. him. There's a void woken on the bridge ahead. But where's it going? A frantic dwarf knocks an arrow to a phantom bow. He lets it fly at some towering invisible horror, visible only in his mind's eye. He reaches for another arrow. Keep firing, damn you! He has to have a weak spot. He has to. The dog is back. It's the dog cameo. Um. Be calm. You're no longer in danger. The ghostly dwarf ignores you, but the word Mordus forms soundlessly upon his lips. He drops his bow and yanks his sword from its sheath. Come on, you filth! 
Let's see what your insides look like. Um. Follow his gaze to try to see what he saw. There's nothing there. I didn't think there would be. Okay. Is that something about there being a void woken on the bridge? I didn't really see a void woken on the bridge. Good God. Oh. What happened? There is a dwarf there, though. Somebody to the talk dwarf to. The rocks on her haunches, gnawing at her own bloody knuckles. Yuck. Her wet, fearful eyes flick to you. She lowers her fist just enough to hiss a warning. Away! Away! Too noisy! It'll come back! It'll take me too! Did the bodies that I saw belong to your companions? She shrinks into the fetal position. Probably not the best question, actually. It'll come back! It'll come back! It'll come back! It'll come back! And we'll all be eaten alive! You're in a state of shock. I need you to try to focus on me. The dwarf shakes her head. Like biggest. telling people that they're in shock really helps them come out of shock. I don't think that's quite how it works. No, I don't want to look. I saw too much already. Too much. Um. Angrily demand that she tell you what you saw. Get away from me. You're already dead. You're eaten alive. Eaten alive. Get away from yeah, me. Yeah, that didn't work. She clamps her hands over her ears and shuts her eyes. She rocks back and forth, deaf to your words. Well, it didn't work all that well. And eh, take some body parts. Let's eat a couple of uh, of things to get the memories. Um, auto sort our inventory a little bit here. I don't know where those would be. Oh, there we are. Consumables. Okay, heals me. You feel a tidal wave of panic drown you. You try to crawl away, but claws pin you down. You look up to see a fanged maw lunge at you. Fun. You shift uncomfortably as the wagon traverses a patch of bumpy ground. The magisters haven't removed your shackles, even though there's nowhere to run. Well, it's they don't exactly trust you. You sigh and gaze outward. The landscape rolls past, empty and still. But then, you see something flying close to the horizon. Several things, in fact. You peer closer. What are those? Birds? I don't think they're birds. Your eyes widen as they draw nearer. Those aren't birds. You turn around to shout a warning, but it's too late. Yeah. Sucks. You tried to make a break for it. From Fort Joy to the beach, you didn't make it. You died to the sound of your own echoing screams as the void woke and gnawed your bones. Ow. That's an understatement. You tried to run. Your source collar was heavy around your neck. You slipped on the slick stone, and then they were on you. Dozens of mouths feasting on your still living flesh. Ouch. Okay, so we didn't learn anything useful. We essentially just um, had some awful memories forced upon us. I'll keep collecting them, uh, but we're going to wait to eat any of them for a little bit here. <laughs> it's a plane. It's a bird. No, it's a void woken. That's great. <laughs> her gaze falls on you, a glimmer of awareness. She raises her hand as a greeting. I'm going to use that if you don't mind to belly oh, as a warning. I'm going to put it somewhere on the main page. <laughs> the spirit takes a deep breath and bellows silently. <laughs> in fact, let me just make sure I have that <laughs> put somewhere. A distant cry echoes along the cavern. Run! <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be laughing about that for the next like three minutes. <laughs> I enjoy bad jokes. Well, it, it wasn't even a bad joke. It was a good joke. If you guys know any bad puns, feel free to let loose on them. All the bad puns I know are chemistry related, which I'm not sure that you guys really want to hear. Um, but I really, really like bad puns. 
I think they're pretty funny. I've tried to tell a couple to my boss. Um, some of them she laughed Sorcerer. really hard at. Still wearing the collar too. And I think it was what because they, they were doing? really bad. They're close. I can feel them. I I'm not the president. I I could not be the president, especially right now. Oh maybe, maybe. President. Eh, too much stress. I'll become the divine though. That's that's fine. Run. For the love of the seven, run. Oh, is that a chemistry pun right there? You never get a reaction for them. Avo! <laughs> a noble gas walks into a bar. The bartender looks at him and says, We don't serve your kind here. The noble gas doesn't react. <laughs> there you go, there's a terrible chemistry pun. There's no time. Run, you idiot. Run! <laughs> I was at a dinner once um, for some uh, visiting graduate students who, uh, well, visiting prospective graduate students, they were trying to see whether uh, they wanted to come to our grad school. Uh, and uh, one of the administrators was coming around to the different tables. So she's an administrator, she's not a chemist. Uh, but she was coming around to all of the different tables uh, and they had these like drink vouchers for people. So you could only get like two, one or two drinks um total with a gift or with one of the drink vouchers uh, but she had some extras so she was coming around uh and she was telling people to tell her jokes um and then uh if it was a good joke she would give them uh, a drink voucher and so she asked our table if anybody knew any jokes or puns and nobody else wanted to answer um so i told i think it was that pun uh or it was something very similar uh and uh, I, I told the joke, and everybody at the table laughed. Uh, and this administrative lady just deadpan stared me in the face and said, I don't get it. Uh, and the guy who was like accompanying her around <laughs> um, said something, something along the lines of, No, it's a good joke, you should give her one. <laughs> and the poor lady was like, I'm not a chemist. Holy crap. Did one of my people just. Uh, what? Did you guys see that? Okay, well, I guess we'll focus on this one then. Um, chain lightning might be a great thing to do right now. They're all really shocked, I guess, but it's something at least. Oh my, two of my people got freaking wrapped up in webs. Gods can get rid of people. That's true. Not really the reason I was thinking of, but. What the hell? Look at that tickles. I take it I wasn't supposed to win that fight. Well, all my characters are split up. Okay, well, we'll start with Beast, um, since that's who it put me with. I don't need bed linens or paintings. I don't really even need these cotton gloves, but I'll take them. If Spider-Man went bad. Yeah, ooh, Medusa head. Giving you a petrifying aura and the petrifying visage skill. That seems cool. Polymorph just seems like a really great um, set of stuff. 
I should turn one of my characters more into a polymorph. Yeah, if Spider-Man went bad, I, I guess he would be kind of similar to this. But I don't think Spider-Man would then also, like, kidnap me away to unknown areas. I love the things that are labeled as pretty. Sell it. Like this one. Pretty. Sell it. Turn my boyfriend to stone. No, I'm not going to do that. I like him. This is a dagger called Fork. I don't know what the owner of was. Or wait, 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 wait. There's two of them. Is it a dagger called Fork or is it an actual fork? It's an actual fork. Do you guys see this? There are two golden forks and they're daggers. Like, sure, they only do two to three physical damage, but they're forks <laughs> being used as daggers. <laughs> oh my god. Pull a Percy Jackson and then the others might be. leave Medusa's head in the fridge. I don't think that this is one of those abilities where you, like, conjure a Medusa head. I think your head turns into a Medusa head. I'll have to get one of my characters uh, to use it at some point here. Um, but I don't think anybody has the right, like, levels of polymorph for it. Um, it's in Beast's bag. I wonder if I can send it. So I can send it to Sibyl. Sibyl is the character who has the... The fork is mightier than the dagger. That's another good one. I want that one too. <laughs> you just, uh, you, you give me all the quotes. Um. I don't think Sibyl can use it though. Oh, I can. I do have polymorph too. Aha. Cool, we'll get to use it in combat then. We'll use the Medusa skill, see? Medusa head. You are just brilliant. You're all just brilliant. This is scary. Do you see these eggs like twitching around? Duck. Okay, talk to this lady. The spirit twists and turns in front of you. It looks lost. It looks scared. It looks desperate. Reach out to touch her. As your hand passes through the ghost, you feel its fear flow into you. You feel its confusion. You feel... You feel hands on the hard stone. Ripped skin where the monster grabbed you. You're surrounded by darkness. <laughs> that would certainly be an interesting... Uh... A way to name things. Not not entirely inaccurate, but interesting. Um Concentrate and push the spirit to creep forward slowly and silently. You start to slowly creep forward. Your hand touches the floor. It's slick with something. There's liquid on the ground. It's wet. It's warm. Oh, gods, you pray it's not blood. It's really weird. So far in a couple of these in these conversations with the ghosts, I've been able to choose what they do. And this is like, I think it's supposed to be their memories. So it's a little bit odd that I'm able to, like, choose. Um, when it should be, like, a fixed moment in time. I kind of wonder if there's not going to be a situation at one point in the future when because of my god woken powers i'm actually able to bring people back to life if i make the right choices um i mean that might be something that i can do anyway like now you sound cool, magic though. and a tiny light flickers you're kneeling in a clear pool of liquid it isn't blood would that make a sword a roasting marginal of prong and then a spear is a pointy chopstick. Um, I don't know. I feel like if you can argue that a sword is for marshmallows, then a spear is also for marshmallows. I feel like the spear you would look be up better. At dozens of eyes glittering in the dark. I have not a died since that. My death count is still at two. It isn't blood. Luckily, I was kidnapped. 
Um, but that doesn't count as death. <laughs> You're flung from the vision, screaming, ringing in your ears. Back in your own body, you double over, trying not to retch. Guys, have I died any time this whole session? <laughs> Extreme seems convinced that I must have died. Okay, let's see what I can do. I got him mostly down. wooden but so it's a chopstick i mean you can use wooden things to do uh marshmallows too but do you guys see the snakes coming out of my head there's my my medusa head now we can use uh petrifying visage on this guy oh actually he turned to stone as soon as i used that no they didn't say that i probably died they were talking about the pointy chopsticks. Worms take you. That was kind of cool. They're all gone now, but I think I'm gonna like using that. There's a bunch of guys to fight up here. Um, I wonder if I can get through this door. I wonder where the others might be. The, the chopsticks protected against the flame by the marshmallow. More ah, crap. This day just gets better and better. <laughs> I hugged myself. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um... Die. Ouch. Ooh. This might not be a good fight for me. Um. Medusa. Hey, I know you've seen me roast some marshmallows. I don't always set them on fire. <laughs> um, so before I use that, I want to make sure he has no physical armor. Ah, this is resisted by magic armor. And he still has magic armor. That sucks. Um, maybe this razzle dazzle grenade. Ah, also black, but magic armor. Ah! Oof. So many attacks. Okay, so I gotta heal up some. I gotta get some armor. I guess I'm gonna heal up a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and summon this fire slug. Uh, and then I'm gonna try fly away. Yeah. That should help. Dangerous shovels are spoons. I don't know why shovels seem dangerous by themselves. I don't know. <laughs> At a slug rush. <laughs> why? Don't go attack her, no. 
Oh, it just froze her and then went to attack the other person. <laughs> Laser ray. <laughs> did you guys see that? What the slug did? Oh my god, the slug's awesome! <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> it's not safe to rest here. But I want to rest here. Okay, cool. That worked. All little void lane. Take its stuff. I don't think that there was a lot of purpose to going down here. You always see people in graves getting hit with shovels. Now they are spoons. That kind of sounds awful. Wait, people in graves getting hit by shovels? When do you see people in graves getting hit by shovels? What sort of movies are you watching? I just want to connect two of my people. Like, make a party with at least two people. Again. Whoa! That looks like that works now. Sort of. Okay, so where do I need to go? Oh, well, maybe down here. The good movies. Ooh, we've got a kitty fact in the in the chat. The Maine Coon Cat is America's only natural breed of domestic feline. It is four to five times larger than the Singapore, the smallest breed of cat. Wow, I did not know that America had only one native breed of cat. That is new information to me. Shackles of pain, since it does a lot of damage to me. Oh, it's blocked by physical armor. Oh, crap. I'm an idiot. Fire. <laughs> it's a good meme. These guys suck. A lot. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, he's dead. Attack of opportunity is the best. <laughs> if anybody here plays D and D, you know how you get attack of opportunities just like naturally. Um. Whoa, why did it ban- Why did it delete Bellissima's messages? What symbols did she- Like- Hey, uh, Extreme, since you're the, the moderator, see if you can do something about the, the symbol bans. 
I, I, especially, I don't know why it's banning her right now. How, uh, be careful with how many flame emojis you're putting in one message, Bellissima. Uh, but Extreme Player is going to try to fix it so that it doesn't ban you quite so quickly. I don't really care about emojis, so we can remove that ban entirely for the moment. Uh, as well. Um, I think it would be great if you guys were able to view emojis as much as you wanted. Um, oh, she's still frozen. Okay, unfrozen. Loot! Loot the bodies! How many Two is okay, three is too many. <laughs> that sucks. I'm very sorry, Bellissima. But hopefully we'll get that fixed for you. Uh, is there anything else interesting here? I don't... Oh, 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 rotten egg cluster, break it. Destroy it. Destroy it. She tried to do three and it kicked her out. Um, so we definitely should be able to do more than three emojis in a single message. Um. Uh, welcome to anybody who's showing up to the chat now. Um, hope you enjoy while you're here. Feel free to say hi in the chat. Uh, we are exploring and we are trying to group back together with our compatriots. Osa's there. Beast is there. Eight was the count of the original. Fawn is all the way over there. Where is Beast on this map, even? Losa, Beast, Devon. Okay, so let's try to hook up with Losa. Um, eh, wrong thing. Not that kind of hook up, either. Uh, where is my map marker that I just made? There it is. Okay, cool. Um, we can go this way. Yeah, we got kidnapped by a bunch of Void Woken, and they split it up, uh, split us up into very different parts of this cavern. So we gotta, we gotta find each other before we do much else. God, so many fights. So, what we can do to get this guy's armor down. Yeah, be careful, Bell. Okay, so now, with Shackles of Pain, if it attacks me, it should get hurt itself, too. Which should be, uh, real nice. Hmm. It's probably me. Why? Why would it cast Hail Strike all over there? I did get the jokes. I did uh, screenshot them. So we're good on that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna switch to Losa and see what I can do with her. Misery's mirror. Maybe. No. Maybe. Oh, there's a lady. Fine. Ah, uh, extreme will get it fixed. We'll leave that stuff. Uh, well, no, we'll grab it. Lucky find. Easy for Hannah to write. Where in the void am I supposed to find tenebrian tools?
Okay, so we'll have to wait to gather that together. I wonder where the others might be. Locked. Ah, crap. Um. Okay. We will switch back to Sibyl, and Sibyl will try to make her way. How many of you creeps do I have to beat? Pick the lock. Nice. I'm glad that it's working for you now. Hell. Oh. We're gonna have to add some more things other than just the, uh, used to be an adventurer like you until she took an arrow to the knee. Have to add some other possibilities. Hey, it's a good starting one. <laughs> Necrofire. Darn it! <laughs> I swear, there's never an out- Never a battle I can get through without fire. <laughs> Everything lights on fire in this game. Um, it's actually funny, I retweeted some tweets from uh, uh, Larian Studios, um, which made this game. Uh, and there, there were a bunch of people tweeting at them about the fact that you, <laughs> you just light everything on fire in this game. I don't remember all the jokes, but they're they're out there on Twitter. <laughs> Be careful. I know you guys are trying to test that out, but we don't want her to get uh, kicked either. Okay, let's see if we can break this down. Crap, that's not gonna work super well. There's gotta be a key somewhere then. I wonder if it's over here. The payload of the peacemaker is here. I can feel its power. Hmm. There's gotta be a key or something. So we can get the ships to manifest. Nice. We can check this chest. Which has a nice mace in it. Oh, and a nice bow. Or crossbow. Talk to this lady to get out. Quick save. She's got some neat stuff. There's nothing else. The dwarven woman hums to herself as she works with total focus and concentration. Her ears twitch as you approach, but she does not turn to you. Yes. Yeah, it is an email. Um. What are you doing here? She turns to peer up at you, surprise and mistrust evident in her intelligent face. And what business is it of yours, outsider? Uh, you've been slacking. You, I've been hired to fetch a progress report. I don't think that's gonna work. You're in no position to give me orders. I answer directly to Queen Justinia herself. Okay, I just want a key. Leave me to work in uh, peace. Okay. Apparently, I just am gonna have to break this door now. Attack! Attack! Um, what all can I use? Lightning! Um... Ice! More ice! <laughs> just 
through the door. I'm gonna just break it down. Cool. I got two people back together in a party. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, I know, a bit of overkill there on this spell, but it's kind of fun to do overkill every once in a while. Okay, so who do we want to meet up with next? Uh, I think Beast would be a really good choice for uh, that. Let's put a marker over by him. Hey, HP Crow laughed. <laughs> Hard to say name, but welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. We're testing out some stuff in chat at the moment. That's why you see all the different flames and things, but. Uh, we're in the middle of Divinity Original Sin 2 at the moment. Um, we got. We came into this cave and a bunch of flying void woke and like this guy on the ground kidnapped us uh, and separated our party. So right now we're trying to get back together with our various party members. I forgot to mark this thing right here. Yep, we have some new people. Very exciting. Okay, I'm gonna use Losa to break this down. As some people might just be lurking, but they might just feel like watching and not chatting. That's okay. What's this? I found something. Oh, that's a hole. I'm not ready to go in a hole yet. It's like one of those weird holes from Don't Starve Together. He means to try the, the fire emotes again, but put exclamations at the end and see if, if that works. Uh, okay, so we're in a relatively big fight at the moment. Woo! Nice. Forward. So our shield here. Oh, and that lady's ghost is there now too. Okay, so we got the symbols and the emotes uh, working again in chat. It's not, it's not gonna kick people out for using too many now. Um, let's do light. Probably not really my main target. But... Another ghost. There's so many ghosts. Like ghosts, not goats. Using the wrong words. Having too many goats would be a funny problem to have, especially in this game. <laughs> 25 seems like a good limit. Ah, and Beast is right here. So Beast can help us out in this fight, too. Cool. Beast, let's get you up to this edge here. Um, who can you target? Aha! A hundred and one goats. <laughs> That's a very, very different movie than a hundred and one Dalmatians, I have to say. If you were trying to direct message to her, uh, just to let you know, I can see it too. I don't know if everybody can. 
Or at least I can see the message that she just sent. There we go, now I can drive message to you. Um. Yeah, we're very happy to have everybody in the stream today. Uh, just hanging out, having some fun. Meet your maker. Ah, uh, you gotta hand in your uh, calc assignment. Sorry that it ended up being late because of the stupid professor, but good luck with it. Path is interrupted. Darn it. Not enough. Murder it. Meet your maker. Cool. Okay, I think we are out of combat, and Beast is now part of our party as well. Which is always a bonus. Okay, let's talk to some of the ghosts Never of these people. I'd be relieved to die like that. If you hadn't come along, I would have been eaten by them damn hatchlings we were guarding. New cat fact. A cat has more bones than a human being. Human beings have 206, and the cat has 230. That's pretty cool. Did you guys know that cat collarbones are different than dog collarbones? Animals that have to be able to climb, things like trees, uh, have collarbones that are di put together differently than animals that simply walk on all four. Um, so we have collarbones more similar to cats than dogs, uh, since we're able to do climbing type motions like cats. Pretty interesting, weird cat fact. I wish I could tell you, but my brain ain't quite straight. It's still full of Mordus's fog. Dad fact, or dad joke, not a fact. <laughs> what did the shy pebble wish for? That she was a little bolder. Aww. All I know That's kind of cute, too. I were to guard those eggs with my life. Once they cracked open, I was to lay down my weapon and let them eat me. You spared me from that at least. Poor lady. Thank you. How could Mortis have done this? Be damned if I know. We had him locked up tight in the hole beneath his office, waiting for Lohar's go ahead before we threw him off the cliff. Yeah. Then, the next thing you know, I hear this voice, his voice, telling me to kill. And my hand went for my dagger. That sucks. Sorry, lady. The spirit's hands are clapped firmly over her ears. Her mouth is firmly closed and her eyes are squeezed shut. As you reach out, you hear a dry, crackling voice. I think that works great, Extreme. I think I think that's fantastic. Thank you for fixing it. Kill the dwarves. They are not your friends. They are not your allies. They must die. They must all die. Sucks for you, lady. And when the eggs hatch, when beautiful life bursts forth, give yourself to it. Lay down your head and rest. Your duty will be done. Yep. Let them come. Do not fight it. Let them bite you. Let them feed. You pull away with a jerk, gasping for breath. The dwarf whimpers a little in front of you. This uh, Mortis guy seems like a piece of work, I have to say. He's making these people, you know, protect these eggs. And then they just are supposed to just let the whalings that hatch out of it eat them. That really sucks. I don't think I like him much. Back. Private chamber key. That's what I want. Oh, lucky find. Search this body here. And that a one. Back. 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 Has it turned on us or just lost its mind? 
Um, bunch of wine. Ooh, bunch of gold. Gold, 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 gold. It's my gold song. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a weirdo. <laughs> I make a lot of weird noises when playing games. <laughs> a light golden teaspoon. Coin purse! We're gonna have so much loot to sell after this. Okay, great. Okay, let's see. What's on the map? So we've... Three of us have met up. We gotta head up here towards the font, I guess. Uh, let's see what we can do there. Keep an eye out for anything else interesting. Whoa, what did I just turn on? Uh oh. Ah, okay, I got out of it. Sorry about that. <laughs> are you currently playing Doom Extreme or are you just testing out the various things? Ah, crap! I don't think Extreme is currently playing, but he does have his own channel and he does play games like Doom. So far it's just been Doom, but he does play games as well when he gets a chance. If you ever guys ever feel like checking it out. Wow. This guy has a lot of magic armor. I think you used to use some special spells when you have so much magic armor. Ooh, I could have blown him up so hard. See, it's just stayed put. Okay, so let's put some armor on. It's a bit of What did your calc teacher do now to annoy you from uh, a mile away? Oh, look at the dog. I mean, I wasn't even paying attention to the dog cam. Look at the dog. Laying on his side there. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> um, courage, I guess. The physical armor is almost gone. Okay, cool. Physical armor is gone. Let's turn him into a chicken. Yes! Chicken. Chicken. Cool. Um. That feels a pain. Just in case he turns back from the chicken uh, in a minute. Can't do any damage while he's a chicken, though, so I turned him into a chicken. So much magic armor. Damn. The chicken is trying to leave, it's trying to run away. Ah, well that's nice. I take it you explained the misunderstanding to him. Good that he that he's being understanding about it. Though it's a little bit weird that he changed the deadline and wouldn't expect that people would be confused. You know? Seems like something you'd expect people to be confused about. Sorry to hear that all of your <laughs> teachers annoy you <laughs> from a mile away. Um, ooh, let's 
Let's see if this works. Ah, blocked by magic armor. Darn it. And now I can't. I won't be able to attack. Three essays from a musical appreciation. That sounds rough. I can't even imagine writing an essay for mu a musical appreciation. Like, what? What does that even entail? You just have to, like, talk about what's in the music and what makes it good. You know, you can take the songs from uh, this game and write about them. Probably not. You probably have to write about classical music or something, don't you? Ooh. Exploded. Exploded. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we all froze. Unfreeze. Okay, so we gotta go up this way, I think. All of this oil slowing us down. This is kind of a cool map area with all the water and the ship ruins and things like that. It's a really interesting way to put things together. Pawn is in like a really odd place. Okay, well let's talk to, uh... Oh, this is the area where Beast was earlier. Okay. Uh, Losa. Would you kindly break this down? Holy crap! That was easy to break down. I have never played Bioshock, but I do know the, the phrase from it. It's a game that I probably should play someday. I know it's, it's really well known to be a really good game. Let's... I didn't mean to do that, but that works. I always forgot. I forget that things can block you and interrupt the path of your spells and magic. Okay. a waypoint here. Okay, let's see. Let's save. Big fight. Holy crap. The vampiric void weapon. He's got kind of a creepy face. We've gotten a lot of XP, and we haven't really uh, leveled up at all. It takes a lot of XP, apparently. walking me somewhere, so maybe... Maybe my characters know where to go, even though I don't... Oh, do we have to go through that hole? Is that what that is? Oh! There's some, uh, a little doorway I didn't even notice up here. Okay. 
She gives you specific pieces, then you have to talk about the rhythm, melody, texture, style, repetition, contrasting, form, era traits, new instruments, organization, and overall impression. Wow, that sounds like a lot to me. I'm not all that musically inclined, though. You're much more musically inclined than I am. Um, no. I don't want to use that spell yet. Vampire White Walker. Okay. Oh, I chilled myself, which is not ideal. Put some armor back on myself. I feel like that's almost harder to see uh, extreme than the ones before. I hate these flying baths. Fawn's up here. That's not bad. That's that's actually really good. Um, I kind of need some fire. Uh, and then I can put down a fire elemental totem. So I feel like fire is going to do pretty decently against these guys. Um, conjure a fire incarnate, probably two. Maybe another fire totem. Do a bunch of fire damage on everybody. The flying animation is pretty cool in battle. And it kind of just. Ooh. Terrified failed. Just um, lightning you. Everything's on fire again. So Beast is kind of hurting. It's like, so let's move you out of the way. Um, end your turn. I know you guys are gonna hatch. That's okay. What do the blue potions even do in this game? There's no mana. Unless it gives you like EP or something. I just realized I have them and I've never tried to use them, so I don't know what they do. Magic armor. Oh, that makes sense. That would have been good to know. <laughs> 
Okay, um... Should be able to cast first aid on myself. And then I'm also gonna do tactical retreat. Because I don't want him to have to deal with that flying dude. I'd much rather have to deal with these little guys. Fire. Probably had something I need to scream out. Cool, thanks, Extreme. Let's try throwing a fireball. Target out of sight. How many AP do I need for a fireball? Just two? How far is it move? With just one AP. There. Just right here. Yeah! Nice! Fuck you. I do occasional Lakers. <laughs> okay, so Fawn is pretty much out of the way of anything. Uh, I can put a totem there, though. It's just gonna be a normal wood totem, but it's something. Oh, Fawn's out of combat. Because he's... Oh, everybody's out of count of that. Okay. Cool. Um, let's get the whole party back together. Nice. We got everybody back together, guys. We can loot some stuff. Get everybody rested up. Because I have a feeling we're not quite done yet. So many things! Salute! Nice. Uh, we can talk to this lizard lady. They, they fed me to their young. They chewed on my flesh as I screamed. Oh, that sounds not ideal. They ate my flesh, and they want more. They want my sauce. I've seen them. Sucking up ghosts, swallowing them whole. They cannot be stopped. They cannot be destroyed. Yuck. Uh, assure the spirit that it's safe. I'm here now. They are too many. You cannot fight them. They'll drag you down and... and... Poor lady. There are too many. Too many of them. I'm looking for Mortis. Mortis? I... I heard that name on the lips of the dwarves. They screamed it as they killed each other. Ugh, stretch. Okay, so she was not the most helpful. Uh, let's go down and kill these guys down here. Um, they shouldn't be difficult whatsoever.
Okay. So we have this room cleared out. Um, there's a little pale, like, piece over here. I wonder if this goes to anything. Oh, 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 no. It doesn't. Um, that's how I was able to see this room earlier. I don't think there's anything else in this room. But we're still looking for Mortis. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Where have we missed? We haven't been there. Oh, that hole takes us back to the cave entrance. Okay, well that's good to know. There was the, the one lady. Um, who I wanted to chat with. I think she was over here. So we're gonna go back over that way. Maybe she was not over there. We'll find her. Hold on. Flying through the map a little bit. Trying to find the crazy lady. Ah, she's up here. Okay, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna let the characters walk for a second uh, on their own. Uh, so that we can talk to the lady that's over here. Because uh, I think she has something to do with Beast's quest. Um, she's a dwarf and she works for the Dwarf Queen. So that would make sense. Whew. So what do you guys all have planned for the rest of the day? Anything interesting for people? Sounds like uh, Bellisma got her cow homework done. Which is nice. You got any other homework to do or are you going to get to relax for the rest of the day? Oh, apparently. Oh no, there's the rest of them. Good. Everybody else did come. The dwarven woman hums to herself as she works with total focus and concentration. Her ears twitch at your approach, but she does not turn to you. Yes. What's this woman? <laughs> I know a bomb when I see it. Out with it! <laughs> ah, one of Lohar's, are you? You should know better than to stick your clumsy fat fingers in the Queen's secret operations. Beast raises his fists in a rage. You're not sure whether he intends to crush the dwarf or the machine she's tinkering with. Call the Beast. What are you doing? Beast's fists slam down hard on the device. Oh. Showers fly from it in Animated. all directions, and a red light flickers on. Looks like you've had some technical difficulties, eh? I know what you look like. I'll report you. Queen Justinia will have vengeance. As you approach the dwarven scientist, Ifan pulls you aside. Okay, I, I, probably I recognize the device too. on the table there. I need to talk to her now. Yeah, go ahead. You see Ifan in earnest conversation with the dwarven woman. All of a sudden, he pales and staggers backwards. The woman laughs, a tinkling sound like glass smashing on a stone floor. <laughs> You thought that was a rift portal? <laughs> Lord, no, it's nothing of the sort. It's a special device that carries only a very special cargo. Specifically, death fog. I don't like this lady. At no. all. No. Lucian would never. Never. Ifan freezes with resolve. Oh. And a cold anger emanates from him. In one fluid move, he steps close to her, knife point to throat. Without a flicker of fear on her face, she smirks arrogantly back at him. So earlier, uh, Ifan was telling us about the fact that he used to work for Lucian. And when he was working for Lucian, Lucian told him that uh, he could go help rescue the elves. They needed to use death fog on the home world, or home area, of the elves. Uh, but he would be able to carry a rift portal uh, into the elves and rescue them before the death fog was used but something happened and the death fog happened before he got a chance to um use the rift portal and i think this lady just told him that the thing that he thought was a rift portal was not and that it actually held the death fog and so he might actually have been the one to use the death fog on the elves homeland and i'm an elf of course so i wouldn't go there if i were you I work directly for Queen Justinia, and she doesn't take kindly to meddlers. And to be honest, I've reached the end of my tether with what I can do I'm here. I'm not sure I care that you work directly for Queen Justinia. I still kind of want to kill you. So, if you want to harass somebody, hang on. 
Hanig, the original creator, should arrive here from Paradise Downs any day now. I feel like Hanig was um one of the guys, one of the sorcerers we're supposed to find. If Anne whips away his blade and walks off, a single bead of crimson blossoms at the scientist's throat. She glares after his receding form before turning back to her work. Yeah, Bellissima, I think uh, Extreme Player is trying to set up a point system so that you guys can play soft games and things like that. Uh, on a similar note, there uh, below the stream, if you're on the um, PC version, well, the computer version of the stream, there's... Um, uh, it's like stream legends or something like that it's a game that you can be playing to build up your character and do fights and stuff uh, while you're watching the stream uh, I don't know that much about it but I wanted to add it to the stream it seems like anger something rolls interesting off him in waves you can feel it he stands fists clenched staring at the ground let me know uh, how how the things work out and what you guys like reach out to console him he shrugs off your touch and turns from you Eyes wet. Just give me a minute. Seven be damned. I... I just found out something terrible. Something... Something I did. We're fine. Back in the war, Lucian himself handed me a device. He said it was a rift portal to save the elves. So I... I raced there. Faster than I've ever done anything. But it... It wasn't a rift portal at all. It was a device designed to deliver massive quantities of death fog. I can't believe that Lucian would do that. To lie to me? To use me? I ran. I tried. And all along, the annihilation of the elves was in my hands. He must have been set up. Mm-hmm. I know you tried to help my people. You can't be blamed for the trickery of others. Trying's not enough. But could Lucian do this? No, no, it's not possible. I intend to dig up answers by any means necessary. The creator of the device, Hanag, she's still out there. We'll find her. Yes, we will. And when we do. I'll make sure she answers any question we care to throw at her. It seems like all of the sorcerers that we have to find to, like, learn about our sorcery abilities are all awful people. <laughs> I'm not much of a landlubber, but sometimes I get no choice in the matter. Besides, there's business to take care of. Uh, um, you destroyed that woman's machine. Wasn't that a little bit rash? First of all, I'm rash. If that comes as some kind of surprise, you've not been paying attention. No, it doesn't surprise me, but... Second of all, that tinkerer or weaponsmith or whatever she was, wasn't knitting a sweater. That thing was made to kill dwarves, and I was made to smash it. He's not a cheater. He's testing out the system. Any questions? No? Good. Lohar seems to have turned on the queen. I always figured every dwarf is pure of heart when they pop out of their mamas, but we ain't born crew. When they pop out of their mamas. Crew. That means we can be made uncrew. Not sure Lohar will ever be an upstanding member of his community, but he knows where to draw the lines. Um. Justinia's jackal. Oh, lucky find. The dwarven woman wrings her hands as she examines a contraption that looks broken beyond repair. Her ears twitch at your approach, <laughs> but she does not turn to you. Cheating's okay if the cheating goes in your favor, Bellissima. Yes. Look at the complex contraption in front of her. Ask what she's doing here. I was carrying out important scientific work for Queen Justinia at that. But some horrid brute came along and smashed it all all my progress lost you can't even imagine what a setback this is though i'm not quite sure who you are or what business you have here tell her your business is hurting people who won't tell you what you want to know darn it i don't have quite enough please you don't look like you have it in you tall tessie all tessie <laughs> oh well um I think that's all we can do there. 
I don't need these markers anymore. Ruined! The fruit! I don't know that there's anything left to do in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and head towards the uh, tunnel entrance. You accept bribes, Bellissima? <laughs> I'll remember that next time. Next time I need you to do something for me. I don't know if I'm just like missing an area or something. have to be good bribes. Are you saying my bribes aren't good? Maybe I need to go back into that hole. I'm not sure that I actually explored everything that I need to explore. I haven't been up there. Keep an eye out for something weird, guys. Let me know uh, if you see anything of interest to us. I might have missed. I love blowing down those doors with that spell. That spell is so badass. I don't think going up to this now. Let's go this way. We did this fight. Get back in here. Yeah, I feel like I was that I already explored this fairly thoroughly, except for the shadowy area, I guess. I didn't get up there. Maybe something will be up here in the one area I didn't explore. Where's everybody else? Come on, beast, you slowpoke. Um. Ooh, that door is stronger. That's rogue. Okay, so there's a fight that we missed. Oh, I'm gonna sneak. Sneak, sneak. Some of us are barrels and some of us are bushes. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go up here. Top 10 hours. What is that? Is that the hours watching the stream? How would you have higher hours than me? You didn't miss all that much shadow. Uh, we've been exploring this cavern area. The four of us- I don't know when you left, but the, the four of us got grouped back together. Um, found each other in the caverns. Uh, and now we're killing off people and we're trying to find this, uh, Mortis guy. Um, for one thing, because he's supposed to know about sorcery and be able to teach us stuff. Um, but also, um... You will die. You will all die. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to find Mortis for a quest, but also because he's supposed to teach us some stuff. Be able to teach us some stuff. Your maker. 
Uh, an extreme player has been messing with the chat and seeing what he can figure out uh, for cool chat commands. I think he's got a slot system set up in the chat. Oh, die. Put up more magic shield. Get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I think probably all that you missed is some fights, uh, in general. Um, I don't think any particularly. Oh, well, we we did find this one lady who was building some sort of contraption, um, that uh is meant to kill dwarves, I guess, according to something the beast said. But beast destroyed it. Um, and just as a heads up for you guys, if you do miss part of the stream, the stream is, of course, still posted on my Twitch channel for a couple days after. Um, Twitch does get rid of it, though, since I'm not, like, an affiliate or, or a partner or anything. So it's, like, it stays up for seven days or something. I don't know exactly. Um, but I do also upload the videos to my YouTube channel. Um, so if you ever want to go back and see what you might have missed, um, that is an option. We nabbed Mordas trying to pinch a death fog machine. If I'd known this would happen, I would have just let him have it. <laughs> Lady's very, um, just calm, like, very calm about the fact that Mordas <laughs> killed her. The ghost sways from side to side, the firelight flickering through the shade of what he used to be. What happened to you? The spirit reaches out to you. As you touch its hand, you see flashes of its past. You see a dwarf trying to sneak into a room filled with barrels, barrels covered in the marks of death. There is a distant shout, and he bolts, scrabbling for freedom. He's chased to an office, to a vault. Guards are posted as he cowers inside, and you wait for word from Driftwood. But the words you hear aren't the words you expected. You hear the dwarf's voice. You hear whispers of violence. You hear the screams of your friends. The ghost pulls back, exhausted, and the vision fades. Oh, it's the dog. Oh, the dog moved. You guys should let me know when the dog moves so that I can adjust the camera. If you want to see the dog. Hi, dog. It's like he's hiding. There he is. Dog's back in the pet cam. Uh, okay. What else can I take? Void tainted umber monkfish. That's cool. Barrel chamber key. Oh, lucky find. What's a barrel chamber? I still feel like there's got to be an area that I'm missing. We came in, but what about this area? We've we been in this area at all? Maybe there'll be some sort of entrance over here. Some way. 
The spirit sobs. Get over there. Well, let's see if the characters are smarter than me. Oh, it won't let me go I'll look over there. Ah, darn it. Um. Wait, 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 wait. It had clip. Whoa, the characters are maybe smarter than me. I think the characters know where to go. <laughs> Even though I don't. Here? Wait, wait, wait. I don't I don't think I even checked out this area. Holy crap. I'm an idiot. You guys probably get frustrated at me when you see me doing dumb just missing areas. This is being a dumbass. <laughs> Okay, let's save since I think this is gonna be a big battle. I'd hate to have to backtrack a bunch if I died. Um, do I have any equipment that has like persuasion on it? I don't think I do. Rings. Summoning. Unidentified ring. Oh yeah, I wanted the shield. Uh, this will be a better weapon for him. Um, is there anything else of interest for my characters before we head into this battle? We could, uh, we could equip somebody with a fork. <laughs> That'd be fun. I don't think so. Okay. Reaper's ghost will tremble. I will be unstoppable. My power will be complete. Let's try talking to him. I won't. You made won't it all him. the way here, you creeping little maggots. Have you wriggled up to bow to me? Has Lohar sent you to beg forgiveness for his sins? He's a, like a metal skull for a head. It's kind of creepy. My lord had faith. He came to me when Lohar failed the queen. And as a reward for my service, he has granted me his favor. He has granted me Mord Akheim. Mordecai, that ritual is older than time. Blood magic with the power to decimate armies. Armies? Merely sheep with swords. Minds that beg to be controlled. But Mordakaim is so much more than the power to have those beasts slaughter each other. And it is mine. By the Lord's grace, the power is mine. Weird. Okay. Well, I guess we're in a fight. Oh, here's a bunch more guys with the eagle wings. Uh, Bell. I'm gonna focus on Mortis. Uh, just feel like that's a good plan. So we've got our water guy here. Bone cave. Why would <laughs> why would you climb and stuff when you could fly? Wings! Oh my god. Those are such nice emotes, the bell. Those are such nice That should be that should be a thing that we do. Uh, when characters have wings. I like it. You had to tell me where you got them. Nice! I wasn't expecting it to go that easily, actually. The master sorcerer throws up his popped, cracked arms to defend himself as you step forward. Um... 
I'll consider mercy, but there's something I need from you first. The undead dwarf looks quickly over its shoulder, his gaze darting from shadow uh, to shadow. It's a Deckard Games emotes. Uh, someday maybe I'll be able to make my own emotes. I think that's something only for affiliates, and I'm not quite there yet. Of course! Of course! Anything! Just name it! Um... I need to learn how to channel more source. If you help me, you might walk out of this cave. What? Source? I... You took your revenge, you made it up higher on the list? Ah, yes you did, Bellissima. The skeleton slowly lowers his arms, staring at you in disbelief. Of course! You're Godwoken! You seek power! Ultimate power. <laughs> and I'm worried we could not find common ground. Yes, God Woken, I can teach you. If you swear, you won't banish me to the afterlife. Um, okay, so the thing is I might be I might turn back on my word. Um on this. I just don't like him. I do need the information that he's gonna give me. We'll see if I, like, actually let him live or not. Oh, and we just leveled up. Cool. It looks like someone's beaten me to it. The death of the flesh is one of the smallest deaths. I have not passed on to the Hall of Echoes, nor do I ever intend to. Okay. Please, Godwoken, let me walk away, and I swear I will show you all I know. If you keep your word, I'll keep mine. Please be very well, Godwoken. Listen carefully. Source and void, day and night, love and hate. One is meaningless without the other. To grow your source, to achieve your potential, you must embrace the void. The grinning skeleton reaches into the folds of his robes and pulls out a small black mass. It's covered in veins and oozing pus. It's here, Godwoken. Take a bite. What is that? Oh, what is that? The finest meal you'll find in this cave. The heart of a void woken. Your god stirs, pushing you to eat it. Do not fear, a voice whispers. Do what must be done. Perhaps not the most appetizing thing around, but if you truly Ooh. want to channel more source. We have to eat the heart of a void woken in order to gain more ability to use source. Yuck. The skeleton extends his arm, jiggling the heart towards you. A glob of dark yellow pus oozes through the bones of his palm and drips to the ground. I guess. I got to do it. The thick pus explodes into your mouth, coating the back of your throat. You can feel it running down your throat like rancid custard. Oh. You start to retch, your body struggling to reject this intruder. But your teeth clamp down hard on the fibrous grit. Yeah, what the heck is you right? Force yourself to chew and swallow. I assume you actually mean about the points and not about eating the heart, though. As the flesh fills your mouth, you start to see darkness. Darkness that swallows everything, all hope, all joy. Darkness that leaves nothing but the foul taste of betrayal. The vision crunch, fades, crunch, tasty. only to be replaced by a new sensation. Fry it with ketchup. That's pretty funny. Deep within you, you feel something change. Your soul opens up, and you feel it swell as new channels for source start to flow through you. You swallow all you can, and despite the meat in your stomach, you feel a new space inside you, a potential waiting to be filled. There, I held up my end of the bargain. I did as you asked, and now I'm getting as far from this cave as my bones will take me. Step to the side and block it. You still have questions. Mortis looks at you in alarm. God's graves, please be quick. Why did you try to kill Lahar? He, he wanted the death fog destroyed. Once he knew his rats had found it in the peacemaker's wreck, he wanted it destroyed. The greatest weapon Rivalod has ever seen lands in his lap and all <laughs> the barrels thrown into the ocean. Maybe they'll start to fear me because I decide they're tasty. That would be quite a turn of events in this game. <laughs> Uh, we couldn't let it happen. We needed it. So I, I took control. Grab him by the collarbones and demand he tells you about the death fog. Ah, the queen! It's the queen! 
She saw what Deathfog did to the Black Ring. She saw it destroy the Elven Forest. She said the dwarves needed power like that. Bitch. And he told me to make Jeez, sure she got it. He told me to ensure they got to... <laughs> Arcs. The barrels were going to Arcs. How did he control the dwarves? The power gifted to me. The power of Morda came. The power to bend the feeble-minded to my will. And so much more. It was a gift from... It was a gift. Drop the dwarf and ask who. Uh, well, ask him what has him so spooked. We'll do that first. I, I can't. He'll hear. He'll know. He'll find me. He'll come. Reassure him that he'll be okay. Maybe you can even help. You can't help. No one can help. If he makes up his mind, nothing can protect you. I can't tell you. Mordus takes a step back, looking about in half-crazed <laughs> panic. Yeah, the queen is... The dwarf queen is evil. That's the only queen we really know about. But yeah, it does seem like queens are often the evil ones. I can't. I... I can't. Not now. It's too late. It's all too late. Tell me what I want to know. The dwarf sets his jaw and firmly refuses to speak until you ask him something else. Uh, I don't have time for this. If you won't tell me what you're hiding, I'll force it out of you. What? No, I can't. You grab the dwarf's old brittle arm and follow through with your knee. Ouch. There's a dry snapping sound I mean. as the crumbling bone cracks and gives way. Ah! No! Stop! Stop! I beg you! I'll tell you! You relent, and the dwarf stumbles back, cradling his fractured arm and whimpering. <laughs> Can I get a tofer key here? What do you mean, can I get a tofer key here? I have no idea what you mean. Do you mean a tofer key is torture? Is that what you're trying to say? The seven rejected. The god. The dwarf is interrupted by another crack. You see his femur has developed a break. The fracture spreads, oh. shearing the bone in two. Oh, that's interesting. Morda stumbles to the ground, oddly silent. He looks up, and you see that his jaw is cracked, broken, and falling to pieces. Fishes are starting to run across his skull, <laughs> and his ribs start to snap and fall one by one. You think Mom would be proud of me torturing somebody, Bill? Uh... Step back from the crumbling skeleton and hope it's not contagious. Mordus reaches out to you, his quivering hand desperately grasping for help until it snaps cleanly in half and falls to the floor. Ouch. You hear the tiniest whimper from the skeleton before his face caves in, as if smashed with an invisible mace, and the body lies still and silent. I didn't kill him. I promised him that I would not kill him, and I did not. I may have indirectly led to his death, but I did not kill him. I've never felt so alive. You feel well, you we have two of the source points through your body. Cool. Deep inside your soul, your god calls for you. Mom would be. Mom is proud of us as long as we keep our rooms clean. <laughs> that's pretty true. It would be wise like that's to meet a lot your god of... again by performing the Meister's ritual here or in Siva's vault. Oh, I can perform the ritual again. Oh, totally should do that. Yeah, I know. I, I just crippled him. <laughs> the thought of death fog gives you pause. A weapon like that should give everyone pause. This scourge, this destroyer of my people, should be wiped from the face of the earth. I wouldn't use this garbage against my worst enemies. Some lines ought never to be crossed. Who wakes up in the morning and thinks, today I'll invent something that'll be able to murder people by the hundreds? I love Alosa. <laughs> I've seen this. Seen death fog in action. Such horror has no place in this world. Okay, and then Beast wants to Death fog. Nasty stuff. Overkill for a bunch of scattered rebels, though. Just then you stooping lower than even I thought possible. Maybe the rebels aren't her only target. Uh, hard to say. That mad doctor Isbel's the one who pulls the queen's strings. No idea who's pulling hers. Isbel. 
Isabel. All I know is that we don't want death for catching a ride on the roaring arcs winds. You're you're an evil doctor. Around, no one's safe. You're an evil doctor who uh, causes the queen to be evil. See, you said the queen is the one who's always evil, but it's you. Okay, uh, so these guys just like exploded and died. <laughs> uh, let's talk to the ghost. The ghost stares down at his broken, twisted body, a look of glum resignation on his face. It ain't a pretty way to go, mind you. Could be a damn sight better than whatever <laughs> Lokar would have done if he'd got his hands on us. You can roll with being an evil doctor? Yeah, I think so. It's also an interesting pronunciation of your name. Isbio. Mind control or no, when he finds out what they... What we did. Uh, okay, loot the corpse. No, 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 The ghosts. No. Let's loot the corpse. Cool. So we got a second source point. We're gonna be able to level up here, and then we can go talk to our the deity. The ghost turns to you. Her finger urges your hands merge together. Your world twisting. Looking down, you see a cart contains many barrels more, recovered from a wrecked ship. The room is filled with voices, cracking jokes and swearing oaths as you go about unloading the cart. I wonder if you can get a, a college major in uh, evil doctorness. But somewhere in the hum of voices, one cuts through the rest. Stop, it hisses. Do your duty. <laughs> you lift up the death fog, and fighting against every step, you walk back to the cart. You pass a dwarf, struggling against the voice and winning. But you crack his skull with a barrel in your hands. One by one, the barrels are loaded again, and the cart departs. As it trundles out of the cave, the voice returns. Come, come to me. And you feel your feet carrying you into the cavern's darkness. Well. Yeah, the dog cam. The dog cam's up. What do you guys think of it? It's a pet cam, but the dog is the only one who stays still enough for it to work. <laughs> Wait, poisoned cold fries. A promising pile of cut poisoned potatoes. Only a bit of hot oil away from becoming the perfect weapon. <laughs> Oh, you edited my stream chat box to disappear after a minute. Okay. That seems good. Yeah, I, I added the stream to the screen, uh, the, the chat to the screen uh, for people who might watch back later. Uh, especially on YouTube. Just in case they want to know what's going on. And that way I don't have to repeat everything that you guys say. another area over here. Why did I crack the head of a goblin open with a barrel? Um, I don't think I did. So I was talking to somebody and reliving their memory. And I think they cracked the, open the head of another dwarf with a barrel because they were being mind controlled. Mount Holyoke major in, uh, pre-evil med job, evil doctor. Yes, yes, extreme. I know you streamed to multiple places, but I just post my streams to you. Unsettled. That's, that's from Queen Justinia. Great gilded galleons. What's it say? I don't know what it says. Let's find out. The dwarf's royal seal. It couldn't be. Letter from the Dwarven Queen. Open it at once. Lohar. This could be valuable. Isabel's agents inform her that the death fog is in your possession. It must be delivered to Arx with all possible speed. I do not know what is causing this delay, but I do know you will rectify this unfortunate error. I'm sure you know the penalty for disobedience. Do not disappoint me. Your queen. Wow. <laughs> That's a fun letter. Unsent letter. Mother dearest, I've f I'll finally make you and daddy proud. I've got a job. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing yet, but I'll be working for another dwarf called Mortis in the Driftwood area. I'm sure it will be productive, interesting, and useful labor. I'll send some coin home as soon as I get paid. All my love, Steve. Poor dear. <laughs> 
Poor Steve is probably dead. He's probably, like, possessed, been fed to some awful Void Woken. It's probably one of these guys, actually. Talk to some ghosts. Even dead, I don't get no peace. You need something. What happened here? What's it look like? Either there were a Void Woken attack, or this is the most unfortunate dinner party you ever did see. <laughs> yeah, Steve the dwarf. The most unfortunate dinner party you ever did see. Yeah. Yeah, no, it would be. Shove off. I've got an afterlife to enjoy, and your jabbering ain't making it easy. This guy enjoys being dead, apparently. Grunted his attitude. What were you doing here anyway? Walk on, heartbeat. I got nothing to say to you. Heartbeat. It's a good new insult to those of the living. <laughs> Take a step towards the spirit. It will tell you. Not sure how I'm supposed to threaten the spirit. The dwarf pulls a dagger with shocking dexterity and reflexively swings at your gut. Thankfully, the ephemeral blade passes right through you. Right. With a rancid look, the dwarf pockets the knife. As he does so, you spot the royal seal of the dwarven queen on the handle. Through gritted teeth, the dwarf growls. <laughs> We're done here. Ah, oh, interesting. Don't worry about it, says Lohar. Quietest work around, says Lohar. Well, I don't see him here. Cold stone he's lying on. Her outline is interesting. It will be fine, my ass. And here I was, the fool, believing him. What was the oops about, Extreme? The ghost swings a foot to kick its old body in frustration, but the boot sails straight through her corpse. Ask why she's so angry at Lohar. She chose this life. Because it's his fault. If not for him, I'd still be sitting there, wine in hand, happy as Larry. Happy as Larry. But no, he knew best. He wanted the death fog destroyed. Lohar is a hero. Death fog in the wrong hands could have been devastating. That's why we were to make sure it got into the right hands. Our hands. I don't think that's how that works. I even stood guard at Mordus when he was doing nothing but the Queen's bidding. No wonder we came to this. This is what I deserve for following the orders of a leader with the spine of a sponge. Thank Duna, Her Majesty has more steel in her belly than that coward. What does the Queen have to do with any of this? By the way, I don't like the story, lady. You're a little tall to be asking questions like that. Her Majesty is trying to do what's best for the dwarf people. And there's not a thing more you need to know. Oh, well. There's another hole. Uh, sheep shares. And this thing. Ooh. The lock's melting away. Mordus turned the key into an amulet. Cunning. Ooh. Where does this go? Weird. I thought this cave couldn't get any more grim. What is this place? I do not want to know what that smell is. Oh, well, I got some more Death, stuff though. Most likely. What's your step? Oh, messing with the stream chat look. Oh, I didn't even notice. So I think I can walk through here. Careful. I spotted a trap. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I didn't die, so that's good. Dead dwarf. Got a velvety pouch. Taste of freedom. Whoa, what happened? Oh, we got this, the, the thing to, for that one place that we... I know, that's super descriptive. <laughs> we got the gemstone, like, eye socket thing to put in the skull in the other area that we were in earlier. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was terrifying. I really 
really like the music. I listen to the soundtrack way too often. I did not die. <laughs> Take that death away. Why did you think I died? Shark. Hi, crabs. Poor little crabbies. I was scared because I wasn't expecting a ship to come through the wall and just smash into me. But I didn't die. Not yet, anyway. Oh, I suppose I shouldn't hum the music since my audio is a little bit off from the game audio for you guys, I think. So we can really quickly uh, level up, I think. Um, so I'm mostly pumping stuff into her strength and constitution um, and warfare to give me lots of nice damage. And then for um, Losa, uh, I give points in intelligence mostly and some in memory so that I have more spell slots and she's mostly getting built as hydrosophist for her water and ice spells um been going arrow surge on him intelligence and memory as well and then a fawn just gets straight up for Ness uh and uh, summoning to make his uh, summons more powerful. So his wolf and things like that. So he got to level up. I think there were just a couple more things I wanted to do before we call it a night. Well, not a night because it's, it's only early afternoon. Before we call it an end to this stream, there's just a couple more things I want to do. where this all goes. Oh. Well, darn it. There was a hole there. Um. So I need to go back to the starting area. Get out of this cave. I think we're done with everything in here. Oh, where was that hole? There it is. Um, so yeah, before we call it quits, I'd like to go back and use the gemstone on that skull socket uh, to see what that is, uh, and then do the ritual, um, if I can, to be able to recontact my uh, deity. Um, you got the points figured out? Great. I can always come back to this cave if it looks like I missed something, but I don't think I did. Oh, 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 that's the entrance right okay, uh, so actually, instead of running all the way back, I think we can use a waypoint. Um, yeah, let's go to Driftwood. 
driftwood square. And then probably off stream, I'll go ahead and uh, sell some stuff. Um, and make sure all of my equipment's up to date. I kind of doubt you guys want to see me getting all equipped. thing over here which we can try this gem in. A perfect fit. Oh, wow, it opens up a whole other room. Whoa, what's down here? This might be more than I can figure out at the moment. More than I can do at the moment. Spirit of a rat. The spirit of the rat is so much larger than the actual rat. The rat spirit shakes its head vigorously. Pretty colors. So nice. Until that ugly dwarf dropped an urn on my head. Oh, poor rat. Okay, so this... Okay, so it looks like it's a puzzle based on weight. So let's get everybody off of it. And we'll use these urns to try to do stuff. Okay, so we want that one to be blank. I'm gonna try to piece this together. You guys might be, uh, you guys might see something that I don't see, so let me know. That turns that to fire. We don't want that. No, no, no. Characters move too easily. That makes that water in these fire though. So those three are fire now. What if I put this one here? Nope. Oh. So I need some more stuff. Wow, this takes quite a few. Um, what if I put one there? So leaf is the third one, fire is the second. So we got fire, water, fire, water, fire, leaf, water. Oh, so good so far. Water, fire, water, fire, water, water, water. So if I put one there, maybe that'll do it. Yay! Uh, we got it. It wasn't even that bad. Well, that was gonna be a lot worse. Oh, more puzzles. More puzzles. Be wary. The urns will shatter. The bones will rise. The glowing corpse looks to you. The erratic rising and falling of its sternum is accompanied by melodramatic gurgles. Come. Come to me. Mm. There are four buttons. What do they do? The creature murmurs a series of unfamiliar noises that amount to absolutely nothing. Hmm. The creature groans unpleasantly. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that for now. Um, we will figure that out next time. I'm going to go do this ceremony thing first so next stream expects that we'll be down here um to figure out that puzzle at the beginning of the stream um, but for now we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, ritual to speak to our god um, and 
see what's going on with that. We'll give the characters just a second to, to move into the Meister's house. Oh! Who's following? Hold on. I got an alert that somebody followed, but I didn't see what the name was. Was that you? Extreme? Were you doing the test? Oh, okay. Darn, you got me all excited. Okay, so... We gotta go over here. Um, let's talk to the Meister. The Meister sits slumped in her chair. You notice that some of her scales have dropped to the floor. What news? Can you channel enough source? I... Are you powerful enough to proceed? Where can I find more of black? Of course. My supply has rather gone up in smoke. You can find more in the cloister woods to the northwest of Driftwood. Hard to get a charming place, but it grows nowhere else. Then why, pray tell, are you wasting both my time and your own? Go! Because I needed the black root. Darn it. Okay, so maybe, yeah, maybe it won't be that easy. <laughs> Those are some nice emotes. Extreme. <laughs> Cloisterwood is where I need to go for... Okay. Let's uh, go over there and see if we can get some black root really fast. Because uh, I would really like to be able to uh, converse with uh, our god before we move on. So while the characters are walking along without much input from me, quick stretch. So what are you guys' opinions on the uh, the pet cam? Do you guys enjoy being able to see Jasper down there? Um, I know it's not the best camera or the best lighting. Um, we're looking around for a better camera for it. Uh, right now it's just a document camera that I'm using for it. Uh, but if you guys like the pet cam idea, um, I'll keep doing it. We'll see if we can get the cat to hang out down there sometime, too. It smells like blood. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I wonder what I've stumbled upon. You like the pet cam? Great. I was hoping people would. Okay, so I don't know who this guy is. We're gonna try to get past. How about you back up and take a look at what happened to the last trespasser? Back off, pigeon! This is my bridge, and I don't suffer fools on it. The enormous, unusually red troll looms over you with his fists clenched threateningly. His expression is stern, yet you can see the tiniest twinkle in his intelligent eyes. So he's a troll, a bridge troll, but he's not under the bridge, he's over the bridge. Didn't hear me the first time, parrot! Uh, you heard him fine. He doesn't suffer fools, and you're not a fool. He smiles a jagged and magnanimous grin. Each pitchfork-pointed tooth seems to threaten you individually. Yeah. We'll see. You want to cross my bridge? <laughs> His bridge? Say that you're pretty sure taxpayer coin constructed this bridge. That sounds like the, the scene out of Monty Python about um, royalty. The power coming from the masses. 
uh, nod and ask to cross the bridge. He rubs his leathery hands together with glee. <laughs> sure, sure. One regular priced bridge crossing coming right up. That's so expensive. And I don't want to hear any whiny little baby noise. I kind of don't think I'm going to persuade him with strength. Uh, let's try it though. Flex your biceps and tell him you're willing to do this the hard way. Yeah. I think not. Hi up, cuckoo. Uh, is there anything I can do to lower the cost? His eyes narrow to glinting slits and a deep Five thousand laugh shakes rich. his whole frame. <laughs> For my butt. <laughs> there is one thing. The competition. Take out my competition and I could waive the usual fee. Uh, give me the location. I'll see what I can do. That's a little non-committal. But I'll take what I can get around here. Yeah. Grog drags should. a rough map in the dust of the bridge with one claw. <laughs> he then spends an inordinate amount of time sketching a highly vulgar doodle of this marge he wants you to take care of. There. Now, for the moment, you'll need to back off. No pay, no stay. No pay, no stay. <laughs> That's quite a quite a saying. Okay, honestly though, is there any other way around? Yeah, there totally is, and it's where this other troll is. But there's also this way around. Oh, I see you added another uh, saying, extreme. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Oh, it's the battle command? That's cool. Extreme's hard at work making our chat a really nice place. Lots of interesting commands. Okay. I think we should be able to get around to this guy by going this way. We might get in another fight though. Let's sit up here. Oh, there's some bears over there with honey, it looks like. Oh, I'm not I'm not worried about them right this second. Just wanna go get some black wood. Oh black root, I think is what it is, sorry. Why does this black root have to be so hard to find? Oh, <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Oh crap, and it's gonna be something that I have to harvest every time. Crap. Okay, so let's see if I remember how to do this uh, crafting. That's not crafting. The bridge troll thing made you think of the screen from Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh, I, I've never actually seen Robin Hood uh, Men in Tights. I've been meaning to because I, I love the actors. Um, but I've never actually gotten around to doing it. I know I'm probably a terrible person. Um, tools. Magical. Ingredients. Probably ingredients. Um, so black root. Um, we had that bowl we had to use the last time. Please tell me I didn't sell the darn thing. Did I leave it in the Meister's, like, place? I might have been a dumbass and done that. Hold on. I'm gonna go back here. Ooh, that's too far. Meister's house is over here. I did. I was dumb enough to just leave the bowl here. Nice. Okay, now the question is, do I have the um, the blade thing for it too? 
Because I had to use like a special blade for it. Ugh, come in, crafting window. Mind those two things. Maybe it's not a crafting thing yet. Where might it be? Ah, it's under miscellaneous until I cut myself with it. And then it's an ingredient. This is very strange. <laughs> uh, the crafting window. <laughs> Where does it go now? It's still in miscellaneous. Ah! Maybe it'll be at the bottom. There it is. Okay. Cool, I've got the ritual bowl now. Um, where it is, I'll never know. Inventory to the input in. Easy question. There. Put you there. Now I can light it on fire and hail, inhale. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. Hold the fume in my lungs and ignore the thumping in my head. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. Cool. I'm gonna click save again. Do -do -do. Yeah, I'm we made it in here again. So this will be the last thing that we do before the end of the stream. Stop to. Oh god. He winces and recoils, then quickly regains his composure. My my, Sabil. <laughs> How you positively brim with sauce. Yep. No Return wonder. of the drugs. After all the adventures you have had, all the things you have had to do. He's assuming an air of levity, but he's clearly unwell. Ask him what's wrong. Oh, it's naught but a chill. Bit drafty in your soul, that's all. You should... A sudden shudder jolts through his body so violently that he drops to his knees, stunned into silence. Bless him. Speak the spell immediately. Source washes over him, a wave over a single flame. But unlike last time, it seems to have precious little effect. An ancient curse escapes from his lips, spoken so forcefully that for a brief moment all light recedes into the webs of darkness. Huh. Um. Look around warily and say you thought he was safe here from harm. So did I. But the void creeps and crawls into everything. I told you before it is stronger than ever. But so are you. Hmm. I can sense the expanse of source inside you. You are ready to learn the spell I have yearned to teach you. The spell you will need when we reach the well of ascension. I have given you eyes that see the source. Now I will give you the teeth to take it. Ooh. and he smiles, and you notice for the first time two vampire-like fangs glistening beneath his upper lip. A gulf of magic Ow. envelops you, and you feel a sudden insatiable hunger for source. So we're like source vampires now. <laughs> Go on, I am here for you. Give in to your hunger. Uh. So I'm supposed to take from him? You shake in anticipation. Tell him you feel ravenous and powerful at the same time. Yes. Relish in your lust for power. 
just like a god should. Weird. This is a weird power trip. A weird drug trip, too. <laughs> Go on. Devour me. That's a really weird thing to say. <laughs> source of vampirism. Assume a corpse to gain a source point or steal a source point from a living character. Wow. I can get source points from corpses? Though your spell tore through him like a spear through flesh, T. Sandelius looks grimly happy, if haggard. You speak the spell with brash ferocity, like I knew you would, Sibyl. Um, that was quite invigorating, but I wonder about the true nature of this spell. Oh, do you still not see? Even though you are a god woken destined to be a god? Let me tell you the one truth about what it means to be a god. It is to be the lion in a world of lambs. Wow. <laughs> it is about power. And power is not given. It is taken. With your all-seeing eyes and your all-consuming teeth. I feel like I'm going to turn into a terrible person playing this game. <laughs> it, it feels really... Um invigorating and exciting <laughs> to have all the power you can see the souls of the dead and now you can feed from them to your hungry hearts content so feed for you will starve until you finally feast upon the well of ascension uh the spell doesn't sit well with me at all it is a force of destruction not creation Stay silent. You will do as you see fit yourself, not as this vampiric wretch commands. Yeah, I'll do what I want. Play coy if you must, but sheer hunger will soon trump your all too delicate feelings. Your soul must grow bigger still. Your inner self become a vaster expanse so that it may house divinity. There are more masters of the source, more aspects of the source to learn. The hunt continues, Sibyl. Just you hurry. Whoa. Cool. So we got another source you ability. Different. Tell me, what have you learned? Or has the smoke simply addled your mind beyond repair? I've learned how to drain source from creatures. Vampirism? As if killing a creature weren't enough, you should utterly destroy its soul too. A dark skill, but certainly useful. The Meister slumps back in her chair, closing her eyes. Her breathing is shallow and ragged. Very well, then. But as you lack the glowing eyes of the divine, or the purpose of one soon to be divine, I trust you need more source? Yep. You need <laughs> another master of source, naturally. I just pray the list you stole from the Magisters was long enough. Cool. Okay, guys. Well, um, I think I'm going to leave the stream here. Um, next time, though, we're gonna go and try to figure out what that puzzle, uh, with the undead dude was. Um, there was some sort of buttons and things. We didn't really talk to him enough to even know what the puzzle was, but I think that's what- Oh, whoa, 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 wait. What is that thing? Oh. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're, I'm going to go ahead and leave the stream here. Um, and I will see you guys again next time when we go to fig figure out that puzzle. Um, between now and then, I'm probably just going to work on my inventory, like what equipment I have equipped and things like that. Um, if you guys are interested in, in what I change, let me know. Uh, and I'll make sure to tell you guys. Um, and I might sell a few things. But other than that, uh, thank you so much for tuning into the screen, the stream. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the pet cam uh, that I have set up. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Thanks for hanging out and chatting with me on this wonderful Sunday. Uh, don't forget to take care of yourselves and stay safe at home.